We came all the way from Rosso to the airport, uh, crossing the whole island to see whether there were or not um, demonstrations, blow, uh, rock, uh, sorry, roadblocks, and uh, disturbances that could prevent this election to be fair, clean, and complete. Uh, we found nothing. That's the, um, an eyewitness report. We uh, saw debris from uh, several uh, uh, roadblocks on the way, especially other in the region of Manigot, where, which is the stronghold of uh, opposition leader uh, Lennox Linton, and where most of the disturbances have uh, occurred in the past few days. But today, there's nothing. People are voting. Um, we haven't seen long queues, but that shouldn't surprise anybody. The, um, this is a small country. These communities are very, very small. And <clears throat> in the country's 21 uh, uh, circumscriptions, um, you have 252 uh, poll stations. So there's no need for anybody to um, endure long queues. Uh, the, the atmosphere is peaceful, as, as we have been reporting. This violence doesn't seem to be natural for um, uh, the, these Caribbean people who are very, very peaceful, friendly, and uh, people who are not used to this kind of controversies. Also, we came to the airport to meet a delegation of observers, Latin American observers, one from Quito, the other one from Argentina, <coughs> who were invited also to uh, observe this process and maybe counteract um, uh, observations that ma might be uh, biased, like the one, the suspicious one for many uh, of the o Organization of American States, the OAS, which played a critical role in the coup in Bolivia <coughs> a few weeks ago. So there are many observation missions uh, acting in the country, um, the CARICOM, the European Union, the OAS, and now this Latin American delegation. So they are all uh, trying to put together uh, reports that will not influence uh, <coughs> further uh, uh, attempts to, to, to stop the democratic process in Dominica. The democratic process is going on. The attempts to stop the election failed, even legal ones, uh, one here in the Supreme Court and another one in an appeals court in St. Lucia. So everything looks like uh, there will be another election. This election is taking place and the process is smooth, peaceful and quiet.